Okay, let's get started. So get warmed up. Just start off, handle a couple short ones, a couple wide, a couple short, a couple wide, a couple short, a couple wide. Let's go. Couple short, couple wide. Good stance, knees, bend our knees. Okay, pause. Again. Let's be a hockey player out here. Let's not just, I see some of you guys stick handling like this. Bend your knees, get down, couple short, couple wide. Couple short, couple wide. Shift your weight side to side. Couple short, couple wide. Couple short, couple wide. Let's go. That's better. That's better. Okay, pause. Same thing on our forehand side. Couple short, couple wide. Couple short, couple wide. Let's get our hands off our body. Couple short, couple wide. Couple short, couple wide. Let's go. Good, extend that puck out there. Parker just lost it. Hands out, elbow high, eyes up, wetchy. Okay, pause. Same thing now on the backhand side. And couple short, couple wide, couple short, couple wide, couple short, couple wide. Go. Okay, pause. Now move it over behind your body a bit where we shoot and pass from. Hands out, behind, way behind our heels. Couple short, couple wide. Kind of act as if you're making a pass or a shot. Couple short dribble. Setting your hands up. Couple short, setting your hands up. Where we pass and shoot from right behind our body. So is it wetchy? Is it Mirsik? Okay, pause. We're gonna run through the same thing, but this time we're gonna do one foot. So in front of your body, one foot, couple short, couple wide. Keep your balance, couple short, couple wide. Couple short, couple wide. This time just do right foot down, left foot up. Couple short, couple wide. Couple wide. Let's go. Eyes up.
Couple short, couple wide. Pause. Under foot now. Couple short. Couple wide. Short. Couple wide. Couple short. Couple short. Couple wide. Go. Other foot. Eyes up, Wetchy. There we go. Okay, pause. Forehand side. Most guys uh, load on their front or their same side leg as they shoot. So work it here. I'm right handed. I'm loading on my right leg. Couple short. Couple wide. Couple short. Couple wide. Couple short and that puck wide. Lean into it a bit on that on that shot fake or that pass fake. Let's go. Okay, pause. Forward or backhand side. Start with the left foot. Couple, couple short, couple wide. Halfway through, I'm going to say switch and then just switch your feet. So start, say left foot down, couple wide on the backhand side. I'll say switch halfway, then just switch your feet. Some of you guys, tough balancing, that's the point of it. A lot of hockey is played on one foot. Switch legs. Okay, pause. Ten second break. Okay, this time we're just going to do a pass fake on all sides. So again, start at the front of my body. I'm right handed. I'm looking to the left. I'm go here. Pass fake here, pass fake here, pass fake. Hands are way off my body. I'm looking, I'm looking. Pass. I'm acting like a passable shot, so you can't make a pass out here. Pass fake. Pass fake. Let's go. Okay, pause. Forehand side. Again. Pedal a bit. Pause. We can just lean on our stick a bit. Shuttle shot, shuttle pass. Forehand, pause. Lean on our stick. Forehand, pause. Lean on our stick. Make sure we can go every angle we want to change it up. Here. Here. Boom. Here. Boom. Here. I'm ready to pass. I'm ready to shoot.
Good. Okay, pause. Get back outside. We're going to look over our body. Fake there. So faking, passing behind us. There. So, look with our eyes. Now we're just thinking pass. Okay, pause. Work at some stride jumps. Handle a little bit. Send it over. Head. Okay, the stride jump. Handle. Come on, EJ, jump. That's it, Marco. And pause. You have a glass of water, grab a drink, 30 second break. <laughs> what an honor. Okay, we're gonna focus on puck protection. The key to these sessions, and the guys from last year will know what, it's not about stick handling in your garage and looking around and seeing garages. It's about seeing game situations while you're doing this. If you're stick handling and working on your handles and you see game situations, that's how you get better. So we're just going to focus on some protection. So when we're focusing on puck protection, this, you got to feel like there's a guy on your back trying to steal a puck from you every time, and you're, and you're adapting to that. So we're going to start off. The handle middle. Protect the puck. Build a wall around the puck. Getting it wide. Your hands are still free. Getting that knee out. So it's here. Forehand. Build a wall around that puck. Your hands are free though. We're not crossing up our hands. We're not getting our hands here so they can get checked. Building a wall here. So just we're going to 15 of these. Handle a bit. Build a wall. Handle a bit. Build a wall. Let's go. Good, Parker. Even more than that, Wetchy. You too, Krems. More, EJ, more. Give them no access to the puck. Feel like there's a guy on your back. See ya. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. Good job, Miles. Okay, and pause. Work at your backhand side. Yeah, you're handling. Guy comes, tries to steal your puck. You're here. Hands are free. Knees out. Building a wall. Got body position on the puck. Here. Boom. 
boom. Hands are free, knee is out. Nobody's getting at that puck. Let's go. Get that leg out, Marco. Other leg, Chase. Sit, Dryden. Good job, Miles. Good job, Diego. Some guys are dropping that bottom hand. That's fine. Okay, and pause. This time our body's gonna go the opposite way of our stick. So my body's gonna go this way, my stick's gonna go this way. So I'm gonna go here, 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 here. Lean in the opposite way of the puck. You're leaning the opposite way of the puck, leaning the opposite way of the puck. Let's go. Sit, Parker. Lean the opposite way of the puck. Lean, Robbie. Lean. Don't stay straight. Lean. Sit, EJ. Sit, Diego. Sit, Chase. Okay, pause. So again, the key is seeing game situations. Feel like you're in a game, guys trying to steal your puck. So this time we're gonna do a blend a couple fakes into a puck protection. So we're gonna head up, we're gonna go, we're gonna go forehand, backhand, protect. So we're up, forehand, backhand, protect. Protect. Drive, protect. Drive and protect. Let's go. Make that fake. Drive that knee forward. Protect that puck. Take that puck wide. Backhand, forehand, protect. Okay, going the other way now. Forehand, look forehand, pull it to the backhand side and protect. We're packing, we're faking. You can even drop, like I'm a righty, so I can drop that bottom hand if I want or keep it on. Either or, work on both. And here, boom. Here, boom. Boom. Build a wall around that puck, protect it. Let's go. Visualize the game situation. See it in your eyes as you're doing it each time. Okay, pause. Another 30 second break.
Get a water if you need it. Okay, now we're gonna do some fakes where we fake and then we try and visualize like we're taking a shot after the fake. So again, he is visualize game situations. So we're gonna come up, I'm right-handed, I'm gonna to look to my left, I'm gonna fake, I'm gonna pull it back into shooting, I'm gonna take a step forward like I'm about to shoot. So I'm here, fake, step, shot. Looking here, fake, step, step over, Flex that stick and shoot. Boom, boom. Do about 15 of those. Feel like you're about to shoot. Step into that shot, good. Pause. What I need you guys to focus on though, is after you go to the backhand, when you're pulling it back to forehand, don't pull it to there. I want to see you pull it back to here to shooting. So instead of going here to here, go here to here. And now I'm in a shooting position. So it's here, pull it back to shooting, and then step over that back. Boom, to shot. Stop, ready a little, half second sooner. Let's try that again, let's go. That's better, Wetchy. Step over it sooner, Tomas. As you're going back, you're stepping forward. Okay, pause. Middle body to backhand to lean into like a backhand. So us forwards, we did backhand uh, a couple days ago. So again, it's middle to here, lean in for a backhand. So your middle, a little bit of protect like we just did, but then little act as if you're taking a backhand. So middle here, act as if you're taking a backhand. Lean into that backhand. Let's go. Lean into that backhand. Do a little fake like you're taking a backhand. Good, Miles. That's it, Gabe. Très bon. Okay, pause. So one of my favorite moves, your right hand is shy, you're coming down the left side, backhand, forehand, cut to the middle. So all we're doing is we're looking left, we're gonna go fake, back to shot. So we're coming in, backhand, forehand, shot. Similar to what we just did, but I wanna see our eyes this way. Visualize you coming in the zone. If I'm a righty, I'm on the left side and I'm going backhand. Sorry, more of a front fake, front fake. Here. Here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go.
Okay, pause. Now we're going to work side body back to shot. So beside my toe, behind my body to flex. I'm coming, cutting across the ice. The net is right here. I'm cutting across the ice. I pull it back and I rip that shot. I'm coming across the ice, maybe across the ring out line, that type of area. I pull it back and I rip that shot. Here. Rip that shot. Flex your stick like it's a real game. Visualize the game situations. Let's go. Okay, pause. This time it's as if we're coming across the blue line or across the ring out line or cutting to the middle like a cut and keep. So I'm a right-handed guy. Let's say the net is right there. I'm cutting to the middle. I'm just going to do two little steps and then a fake shot. Two steps, fake shot. Cutting across the ice, pulling it to my forehand, stepping, shooting. Steps, boom, load that stick, flex that stick. Let's go. We're coming across the ice the other way this time, so that's what you want to visualize. Good job, Tomas. Step forward, Chase, forward. Towards the target. One, two, shot. And pause. 30 second break. I hope that most of you guys work on your own at times. Oh, Miles has got a dog in the house. I hope you guys work on your own on this sort of stuff. Because, again, self-motivation is everything. Yeah, you can have coaches and tell you what to do. But if, if in your mind you want to get out there and get the work done, then you're going to be so much better. All right, this side. You guys know I love those one knee down shots. So what I want to see is extend the puck out far as you can, pull it in, and then finish on one knee with your hands off your butt. Extend it way out, pull it in, finish on one knee, shot ready. Extend it way out, boom, I'm ready to shoot on one knee. Boom, boom. Visualize taking a one-timer as if you're taking a pass and you're one-timing it off one knee. That's the visualization here, not a toe drag. You're getting a pass and you're Hammering it off one knee. That's what I want you guys to think about while you're doing it. Let's go. Is it wetchy? Extend it as far as you can as if you're taking that pass. Finish on one knee. Is it Parker? Is it wet or uh, valiant?
Good, good job, Chase. Okay, pause. I want to try that again. Some of you guys are doing too much, like dangling it 18 times first. What you need to do, extend it out there, pull it in as if it's a pass, ready to shoot. Don't worry about stick handling it 800 times. Pull it out, pull it in, boom, ready to shoot. I'm low, I'm loaded, my stick, and I'm ready to shoot. Just focus on that part. Let's go. Sit, Diego. Good job. Keep going. A couple more. Keep going. And pause. Good job on that one. Let's just work our feet a little bit. Work inside foot, outside foot, side foot, other side foot. You want to be good with your feet in hockey. You want to take those bad passes, control them. So work all sides of your feet. Inside, inside, outside, side of your foot. Fuck, you want to be good at taking those passes. Let's go. Hockey players got to be good with their feet. Okay, pause. The same thing, but working around your body. So work inside, outside, behind. Then you can work inside, outside, behind. Let's go. Work all six of those. You want to take those bad passes from behind your body too, to your opposite skate. Okay, pause. So focusing on getting the puck as wide as we can across our body. This is super important for me and something I really key on is I know we like dribbling the puck. I know we like doing this. But if I go up to a defenseman and go like this, I got fucking nothing's going to happen. He's going to check me. So this might be good for a shootout move do much to get around a guy so all I want us to work on is getting the puck as wide across our body so we can get around those big defense with those long reaches so all I want to see is extend the puck extend extend so this time we'll just be standing still and just moving our arms extend 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 as far as you can go and then we'll add on but these are the fakes that actually get you around players getting it as wide as you can keeping control of it let's go
Okay, pause. Now I want us to think more like a hockey player and get our legs involved. So it's here, here, here. Extend our hands, hands are free. Extend that leg here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. As far as you can go in that little hallway, Dryden. It's not a jump, Marco. Just extend and extend your knee forward. If you can still handle the puck and get it wide, you're going to get around a lot more guys. Thomas is adding protection on, which is perfect. Okay, pause. So what I like about this one, besides obviously the distance you're traveling, is when you do this in a game, like I saw Tomas and a couple other guys doing, it automatically puts you in a protection spot too. So you're getting it wide and you're protecting the puck at the same time because you're pulling it so wide. So I want to see you go wide, add that little knee. Wide, knee. Wide, knee. Wide, knee. Let's go. A little bit like we've done before, but focusing on getting it as wide as we can. Let's go. Let's go, Wetchy. Get up. All right, pause. If you have uh, another stick or something around, just grab what I got a broom. We're just gonna work on short chips. So it's like we're passing to our buddies. We're just gonna work forehand chip, forehand chip. Then you can pull it back around, back. Forehand chip. Sucking. The forehand. Do it better than I did. Jesus. Just a little chip. Just enough to get over a guy's stick. Miles, the next one is backhand. We're working forehand right now. Forehand chip. Okay, pause. Again, yeah, visualization is everything. So on the backhand side, you can. I want you to visualize two things. I want you actually visualizing it, chipping it over a D-man stick to yourself, but I also want you to visualize making a little chip pass to your buddy. So yourself, or visualize, or visualize making a chip pass to our buddy on our team, and he's sprung. So our hands get dropped, just a little chip. Hands get dropped, hands get dropped. Back. Yeah. Chip sauce, chip over a stick. Let's go. Oh, Marco's got my hands. Just a little chip past here, buddy. Drop your hands more, Gabe.
And pause. Okay, only Dryden would know about this, so he's going to start it off. So at this point, you guys become the coaches. So I'm going to pick Dryden first. He's going to turn his camera on so everyone sees. He's going to show you a sequence, whatever he wants. We'll do it for 30, 40 seconds, and then he picks one of you other guys. You guys turn on your mic. You guys show us a move, and we copy you. Dryden, you're up. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, we're going to go around the world. But we're going to bring like the, the ball or puck in while we see candle. Let's do it. Okay, nice one, Dryden. Pick someone else. Uh, Gabe. Did you hear that? Yeah. Here they go. Backhand fake. Open up hands and fake pass. Thanks, Gabe. Pick someone else. Diego, you're up. Okay. Oh, you can't see the shit. Okay, thanks, Diego. Pick the last guy for today. Uh, Chase, you're up. Hey, can you see? Okay, we're just gonna do some backhand ponies.
And good job. Okay, huddle close to your cameras here. So good job today. Again, my keys always are when you're working by yourself, focus in your mind and visualize game situations. That'll make you so much better. If you're just stick handling as fast as you can and not thinking about anything, not gonna do you as good as you need to be. So when you're here uh, practicing by yourself, visualize game situations and then visualize how you're gonna react and you'll get so much better. All right, so that was fun today, boys. Thanks for the guys that did uh, the demos. Um, have a great weekend and let's get let's get let's get back to work on Monday and kick some ass. All right. Have a great weekend boys. Good job. Thank you. Benny Howe. Thank, 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 Thank you. 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 Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs>